politics lead. Questions about the Green New Deal are exposing some divisions among 2020 Democratic candidates. Right now, their support is all over the map. The Midwesterners largely down the middle, others from the coasts giving it full endorsements. As seen as Jessica Dean reports, the 2020 race is turning into something of a geographical divide. It is time, America. As the 2020 Democratic field takes shape, fault lines are emerging over the party's leftward shift on policy. The latest example, a split over support for the Green New Deal resolution introduced by Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Senator Ed Markey that calls for tackling climate change. We should do it because we are an example to the world. The divide appears to fall along geographic lines, with Midwestern contenders voicing more measured approaches while coastal candidates offer full-throated endorsements. While Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar is a co-sponsor of the bill, she framed the Green New Deal as more aspirational. I'm in favor of it simply because I see it as a framework to jumpstart a discussion. I don't see it as something that we can get rid of all these industries or do this in a few years. But what does make sense to me is to start doing concrete things and put some aspirations out there on climate change. Unlike Klobuchar, Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown, who is considering a run in 2020, has not committed to supporting the Green New Deal plan. I'm not going to take a position on every bill that's coming out. I support a Green New Deal. Um, I think we need to aggressively, uh, we need to aggressively uh, support climate change. Four other Senate Democrats eyeing 2020 have signed on as co-sponsors of the proposal. Kamala Harris of California, Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, Cory Booker of New Jersey, and Kirsten Gillibrand of New York. On Capitol Hill Wednesday, Harris reiterated her support for the resolution. I support the Green New in a CNN town hall on Tuesday, former Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz, who's weighing a bid as an independent, called the Green New Deal not realistic. Let's not just throw stuff against a wall because it's a good slogan or we get a press release. Let's be truthful. Meantime, the Democratic field continues to expand to include a record number of women. Booker says he expects the party's gender and racial diversity will be reflected on the Democratic ticket going forward, but he refused to commit to choosing a woman as his running mate if he becomes the nominee. I'm not going to box myself in, uh, but uh, should I become it, you know I'll be looking to women first. As for Republicans, they're really looking to use this leftward pull on policy in 2020 to, as a point where they can really exploit the Democrats. Uh, Senator Mitch McConnell has promised a vote on the Green New Deal at some point on the Senate floor, really forcing these 2020 contenders to take a position. Also, any vulnerable, vulnerable Democrats up in 2020. And also, Jake, important to note, we saw at that rally in El Paso this week, President Trump already railing against the Green New Deal. All right, Jessica Dean, thank you so much. Appreciate it.